there folks, welcome to Explains. The world of technology waits for none, and innovation is keen on reaching new heights in a blink of an eye. You know those awesome planes we see in sci-fi flicks like Star Wars? Well, it looks like they're about to become real. After the fifth generation fighter jets wowed everyone, aerospace companies are now hard at work creating an even more amazing one called the sixth generation fighter jet. Today we're gonna talk about what these new jets can do and how they're gonna be way cooler and stronger than the older ones. The 6th generation fighter jets aren't manufactured yet, but the strategy for the development has been made already. Many countries have started working on the designing of these more advanced fighter jets. It's important to look back at the features of 5th generation jets, which had technologies like integrated avionics, robust engines and smart radar systems. However, the 6th generation fighters will have even more advanced and evolved technology like sharp sensors, smarter stealth capabilities, unmanned capabilities and directed energy weapons. Now, let's ferret out the features and specificities of these upcoming futuristic fighter jets of the 6th generation. As the 5th generation fighters like the F-22 Raptor and Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II have been very famous and served as smart fighter jets in various missions, the next generation jets will be witnessed soon around the 2030s. Numerous countries like the United States, United Kingdom, China, Sweden, India, Spain, Russia, Italy, Taiwan, Japan, Germany and France are participating in the development of the 6th generation program. These developers of 6th generation fighters can be split into two groups. The United States, which has made two stealth fighter types and other countries that have decided not to build 5th generation jets because it's too time-consuming and costly. France, Germany and the United Kingdom are among those countries and are working on 6th generation systems like the Future Combat Air System and Tempest fighters. Russia stopped making its Su-57 stealth fighter for at least 10 years, but is thinking about a new 6th generation MiG-41. Japan is thinking about making its own 6th generation F-3 stealth jet, but might use a foreign 5th generation design. China is working on a 6th generation fighter and India's Air Force wants to make 6th generation combat systems. The United States has two projects going on. The Air Force is penetrating counter-air, a long-range stealth fighter to go with stealth bombers and the Navy's F-8XX. Boeing, Lockheed Martin and Northrop Grumman have shown 6th generation ideas, including stealth and beyond visual range missiles. The 6th generation ideas mostly have similar technology with two key features of 5th generation fighters staying important. Stealthy frames and long-range missiles. Since ground-based defenses like the S-400 can now threaten lots of airspace, stealth planes need to get through these areas and take out air defenses from far away. Also, stealth planes are much better in fights, so they need to have low radar and special materials. But some people think that the new sensor technology might make stealth planes not useful anymore. So defenses like jamming and electronic warfare will be more important. Missiles that can hit targets far away will also be important in future fights. New helmets for pilots, like the ones in the F-35, can help pilots see through their planes, show them instrument data and help them target missiles better. Even though these helmets have some problems now, they will probably become standard in future planes, maybe replacing normal cockpit panels. Also, pilots might be able to control their planes with their voices to make flying easier. As air bases and carriers face more missile threats, planes need to fly farther and carry more weapons. This is hard for stealth jets because they can only hold plenty of fuel and weapons inside. Making bigger planes might help. Since dogfights might not happen often, air forces want planes that can fly fast for a long time and carry lots of stuff. Developing better engines that can change how they work during flight could help with this. People have been talking about generating planes that can fly without an onboard pilot for a long time. Without exception, drone technology has become stunning, but still there are risk factors involved when used by navies and air forces. Furthermore, many countries including the US are among those who prefer an onboard pilot in the aircraft but still want to be ahead in the technology. They transformed a planned drone into a boom-equipped tanker to refuel other planes in the air. However, they're also making plans to develop a plane that is good to go with or without a pilot on board. Those who have previously witnessed the amazing capabilities of 5th generation jets may be curious about the secret plans the tech industry has for the 6th generation fighter jets. 
Having options for high-tech planes that are partially independent of human aid will make it easier to make a complete shift toward unmanned aircraft soon. It means that any dangerous mission, military can send an unmanned plane to enemy territory. Thus, there will be no risk of losing any precious life. Sharing information between planes, ships and ground troops will become important. The F-35 can collect data and share it with friendly forces, which helps them make better plans. This lets stealth planes find enemies while friendly forces can attack from farther away. Remote-controlled aircraft will be super helpful, but at the same time they could be vulnerable to cyber threats, as they rely mostly on connections and networks. So to be on the safe side, there must be programs in these new planes to prevent their systems from being hacked by enemies. Besides the ease, modern aircraft systems are also getting complicated, which will make it hard for pilots to manage everything while flying. In the past, planes were often two-seaters, so while one pilot was focusing on managing the plane, the other one could control the weapons. But now they're utilizing artificial intelligence to assist the pilots in all such tasks. This mighty AI can also control drones and even a large group of drones called swarms at once. As swarms in fields, these drones are also brutal and can destroy the enemy without leaving a single target behind. According to experts, these drones will be more powerful than any other expensive weapons. It is not far when planes might start using bigger and swift drones for hefty tasks like scouting and carrying weapons. Technologists are also discussing incorporating lasers and microwaves to tackle groups of drones or missiles. The super weapons would have an accurate targeting system, making them beneficial for accurately locking the target in threatful environments. The US Air Force is developing new technologies and sees a future where advanced weapons will be useful. Among their blueprints are three distinct categories of airborne directed energy weapons. To begin with, there are lower power lasers that are carefully designed to interfere with or harm adversary sensors and seekers. Then there are mid-level grade lasers that can burn up approaching air-to-air -air missiles as they come down from the sky. The powerful lasers, which can destroy aircraft and ground targets with unmatched precision, are the last and most powerful weaponry. The implementation of sixth-generation fighter systems is still a distant goal, despite these audacious promises. The road ahead is paved with obstacles, since fixing the problems with the fifth-generation fighters that are now in use would need a significant investment of money and time. Even if lasers and other high-tech equipment seem exciting, assembling them all in one airplane is difficult. Thus, developing and producing these jets will be similar to piecing together a puzzle. We will be seeing these amazing 6th generation super jets in the skies in the 2030s or the 2040s. By then, the Air Force world will look very different, with new plans and concepts transforming the way we fight from the air. All in all, research initiatives like the US Next Generation Air Dominance and FAX programs, the Multinational Global Combat Air Program, alongside Chinese developmental efforts, are actively pushing the boundaries of aviation into the new millennium. The promise of next generation technology is compelling, but whether these jets will remain confined to the realm of ideas or take flight remains uncertain. Only time will tell if this futuristic aircraft will soar on the horizon or merely linger as concepts in the aeronautical landscape. Share your thoughts on how the upcoming 6th generation will be able to adapt to the future threat environment.